Alma Pauline Polly Melton disappeared from the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, North Carolina, on Friday, September the 25th, 1981. She was 58 years old and often called Polly by her friends. She liked the cliffs and extended as much time as she could in the Smokies. She adored hiking and had been doing it for almost 20 years. She was exceptionally aware of this particular region of the park. As they reached the park, Bob parked their Airstream trailer and stayed inside while Polly and her two companions readied for the leisurely hike. Bob was 20 years older than Polly and had in bad fitness. He wasn't able to join in on the hikes. <clears throat> the trail they were walking was summarized as easy, so there weren't any challenges really to face in the path of rough terrain. She began a hike with two of her friends, Red and Trula, around 3 p.m. on the deep creek trail near the North Carolina side of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Just one hour into their walk, her friends had been teasing her about her slow pace. Polly then walked ahead at a faster pace, and her friends saw her walk over a little hill and go out of sight. They inferred they would make it back to the trailer and she would be there, but around 4.30 when they returned, she was not anywhere to be seen. Bob was in the trailer and he hadn't noticed Polly since she'd left for the hike. Polly's two companions went back to the region. They last saw her and they started searching for her, but were incapable to locate anything that indicated in the way that she might have gone. She was reported disappearing at 6 p.m. that evening and a much bigger search effort went soon underway. Over the week, some 150 people scoured for Polly as well as numerous search dogs. At one point, a dog alerted to a tree that was downed and searchers think she may have halted there for a rest or a moment. They didn't pick up her odor in any other area. Not so much as a trace of Polly has been discovered. Her pastor did express that she had been battling with a bout of depression after her mom had passed away earlier in the year, and it was presumed that she was remotely suicidal. She had prescribed Valium in 1979 as a muscle relaxant, but had quit taking them before 81. Yet her spouse's bottle of Valium was found to be missing after she vanished, but it's never been assumed that she was the one who took them. She suffered from high blood pressure and nausea, for which, reason, for which she took medication, making it seem unlikely she could have gotten far in such a short period of time. She apparently followed her normal routine during the day preceding the, her disappearance. The only exception was that Melton decided against volunteering at a center where she served meals to senior citizens. She usually arrived at the center every day, but had decided against it for unclear reasons on September the 25th. Her supervisor at the center where Melton volunteered told authorities that Melton never used the center's phone in the four years she had help there. However, she did place a call to an unknown individual the day prior to her disappearance. It is not known if the phone call was related to her case. Melton was 58 years old when she went missing, a white male approximately 5 feet 10 inches tall and 180 pounds, brown eyes with... <coughs> Brown eyes with red hair, last seen wearing a pink and white blouse, tan slacks, low-cut tan shoes, and eyeglasses. Polly didn't have any cash, identification, or medications with her when she disappeared. She was carrying her cigarettes, and she was not permitted to drive her vehicle during September of 81, so she did not even have her car keys. Her husband had the keys to the couple's trailer. Melton's disappearance remains unsolved, and if you have any, information regarding this case, please contact the Tennessee Bureau, Bureau of Investigation at 615-744-4000.